Last year, a glut in the supply of cabbage led to huge losses for Taiwan's farmers. Today, the Council of Agriculture launched a voluntary registration system designed to steer farmers away from overplanting. Farmers enter the amount of cabbage they want to plant. The registry will give them a sales forecast based on the amount of cabbage other farmers are planting. Using the registry entitles farmers to a range of government benefits, including a cabbage buyback guarantee and export assistance. Today, the COA launched its cabbage registry. Farmers using the registry can enter in the amount of cabbage they intend to plant to get a sales forecast. There's no limit to how many hectares you can register. The point is that when farmers come to register, we tell them that right now this is the number of hectares that are being planted elsewhere. In the end, farmers make their own decisions. The registry aims to make data more transparent so that farmers can diversify their crops and make export arrangements in advance. If cabbage prices get too low, the COA will buy the produce from farmers who use the registry. For one thing, every hectare will be eligible for up to 30,000 NT in subsidies for organic fertilizer. The second thing is that if you register, at the end you are guaranteed at least 6 NT per kilogram. When farmers have a surplus, the COA will help them process the extra cabbage or send it abroad as exports. The COA has brought together many vendors who will buy these agricultural products. I don't see how any harm could come from this. The cabbage registry is designed to protect small-scale farmers, and subsidies are available for up to two hectares. The COA said that the cabbage registry will be expanded later to accommodate more crops.